the differential. So, the differential is given by dy is equal to f prime x times dx. So, kung mapapansin nyo, kapag yung if isang function ay dinifferentiate nyo, di ba, equal siya sa dy over dx, tapos, uh, naka-equate sa f prime of x. So, mapapansin nyo dito, yung dy over dx, magkahihulay, no? Parang yung dy over dx, tinimes nyo sa dx, kaya naging ganito. So, paano ba i-evaluate yung differential? So, ito yung example na sasagutan natin, no? So, find the differential dy and then evaluate dy for the given values of x and dx. So, sagutan natin yung example number 1. y is equal to x squared minus 4x when x is equal to 3 and dx is equal to 1 over 6. So, first step, derivative natin. No? So, dy over dx is equal to 2x minus 4. No? So, mapapansin nyo sa formula natin ng differential, yung dx nakamultiply dito sa derivative ng function. So, ito times natin yung buong ito sa dx. Actually, ngayon lang natin gagawa sa example number 1. No? So, dy is equal to 2x minus 4 times dx. Then, pagkatapos nyan, i-evaluate natin yung mga values ng x tsaka dx. So, dy is equal to 2 times, so ang value ng x ay 3 minus 4 times yung dx natin which is 1 over 6. dy is equal to, so 2 times 3, 6. 6 minus 4 magiging 2 times 1 over 6. So, 2 times 1 over 6 magiging 1 third. So, ito yung final answer natin. So, ito yung differential dy nitong uh, function tsaka yung required natin. No? Example number 2, hanapin natin yung differential dy ng y is equal to 1 over x squared plus 1. Tapos, evaluate natin gamit ito. No? So, ano nga yung formula? Ang formula natin ay dy is equal to f prime x times dx. So, let mo natin yung formula. dy is equal to f prime x times dx. So, ang derivative ng 1 over x squared plus 1, yan ay uh, constant over a function, di ba? So, ang derivative niyan ay negative constant times dv over dx all over v squared. So, yung constant natin dito ay 1. So, ang v natin ay x squared plus 1. Ang derivative niyan ay 2x. Then, substitute natin ito dito, no? So, dy is equal to, so, f prime x natin ay negative 1 times dv, o, oh, 2x all over, so, yung v squared natin, square natin to. x squared plus 1 squared. But, etong f prime x na to, nakamultiply sa dx, di ba? So, i-evaluate natin gamit itong mga values dito dy is equal to negative 1 times 2 times 1, no? Yung x natin. Okay? Times yung dx which is negative 0 0.1, no? Negative 0 0.1. All over. So, ito, x squared, 1 squared plus 1. Tapos, naka-square sila, no? So, dy is equal to, so, negative 1 times 2 negative 2. Tapos, itong negative 0 0.1, uh, sa fraction yan ay negative 1 over 10, di ba? Tapos, itong nasa denominator natin dito, 1 squared plus 1 is equal to 2, no? So, 2 squared ay 4. Okay? So, makakancel ito. So, magiging negative 1 half yan, times negative 1 over 10. So, negative times negative, magiging Positive yan. dy is equal to positive 1 over 20. So, ito yung differential dy natin. Last example, hanapin natin yung differential dy nitong y is equal to cosine squared x. Tapos, evaluate natin gamit ito. So, yung formula ay dy is equal to f prime x times dx. 
So, dy is equal to f prime x times dx. So, hanapin daw natin yung derivative ng cosine squared x. Cosine squared x. So, gagamitin natin chain rule, no? So, n times u raised to n minus 1 du. Okay? So, ang n natin dito ay 2. Ang function natin ay cosine x. Ang derivative ng cosine x ay negative sine x. Then, isa-substitute natin ito dito, no? So, dy is equal to, so, f prime x natin equal sa n. So, 2 times yung u natin which is cosine x raised to 1, no? So, 2 minus 1, 1 times du which is negative sine x. But, dito sa formula natin, itong f prime x natin naka-multiply sa dx. So, dx yan. So, evaluate natin sila, no? So, yung negative, i-times natin sa 2, negative 2. Tapos, yung cosine x. So, yung x natin ay pi over 3 times sine x, which is pi over 3 din, times yung dx natin, which is 0.02. Sa fraction, ang 0.02 ay equal sa 1 over 50. Okay? So, ano yung differential dy natin? So, ang cosine pi over 3 sa unit circle, yan ay 1 half. Then, yung sine pi over 3, yan ay square root of 3 over 2. Times 1 over 50. Okay? So, ano yung magiging differential dy natin? So, itong negative 2 times 1 half, cancel. So, final answer natin ay negative square root of 3 all over 2 times 50 which is 100. So, ito yung final answer natin. Ngayon, kung yung iba sa inyo ay hindi familiar sa unit circle, ang pi equal yan sa 180 degrees, di ba? So, 180 degrees divided by 3, yan ay cosine 60 degrees. Same thing sa, one over, uh, sa pi over 3, 180 over 3, sine 60 yan, no? So, kung gagamit kayo ng calcu, gan ganun din yung lalabas, no? 1 half, tapos ito ay square root of 3 over 2. So, tsaka nyo siya input dito, ang lalabas ay negative square root of 3 over 100. Okay?